I would love to see the LGBTQ community not having to fight for basic civil rights. Uh, we shouldn't have to still fight for a right not to be fired and for a right to marry. And we shouldn't worry that our right to marry, for example, is going to disappear because of the whims of a tyrant. Roxanne Gay and I'm a writer. The great thing about my work is that I get to dictate what I want to do and I get to do queer representation in my work whenever I choose and it's awesome and it's especially awesome to bring queer representation into spaces that have historically ignored it. I'm pretty lucky. Being out has taught me that I have every right to live my life as I choose and that I also can be open and free and proud of myself no matter what I do. In the past year I think the critical reception to World of Wakanda has given me a lot of pride because I wrote two black lesbians who are out and loving and they don't die. And that's quite a departure for pop culture. And so I'm really proud of that. You know, I think the most important thing about legacy is not what you do for yourself, but what you do for other people. And so I hope that my legacy is that I have often been the first in my career, but I will not be the last. I really admire the writer Leslie Feinberg. I think they did a really interesting job of writing about the first butch experience and then the trans experience. And it wasn't about needing to agree with everything they said. I just have never forgotten Stone Butch Blues. It is the most powerful LGBT book I've ever read. And I think about it, I still reread it to this day. used to be I Will Survive, and it's been timeless, I think, for every generation of queer. And certainly when I came out, I Will Survive was the anthem. When it came on in the clubs, people lost their minds. And now I think it just goes from one year to the next, but anything by Beyonce <laughs> will get me in the mood and have me feeling proud. If I had my own pride float, I would be on it. And I think it would be my friends that would be on the float. I, I don't need to surround myself with famous people. My friends are the most impressive queers I know and the fact that we all live our lives in the ways we choose and we do so oftentimes under constraints that would keep a lot of people in the closet. I think these are the people I would put on a queer pride float. You know, it's really easy to just drop some famous people's names, but like my friends are the most impressive people I know. The Stonewall Riots showed us that you really can resist authority and you can stand up for yourself and it will be difficult and take a lot of energy and a lot of time, but still you can create change. Back then, no one knew what those riots were going to lead to, but it really opened the door for a lot of the life that we enjoy today. 